Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. Two episodes ago, I posted a video about how I went on a photo walk around Calgary's Princess Island Park with my Yashica Mat 124 medium format TLR camera. However, in that video, I only showed the black and white photos that I took at the time because I wasn't able to develop the colored photos that I took back then. Well, I've finally been able to develop the two rolls of Lomography Color Negative 400 120 film that I shot back then, and in this video, I would like to take some time and show you guys the photos that I took. By the way, if you're interested in how I scan my 120 film negatives, I use the Lomography Digitalizer Film Scanning Mask. It's a nifty device that helps me keep my film fixed, nice and flat for scanning. Once I get my film into the digitalizer, I either put it on a light box and use my digital camera and a macro lens to take a photo of each image. I find that this is quick for getting raw images that I can convert later, however, I prefer to scan my film using my Epson V600 flatbed scanner. There's pros and cons to either method, I just really find that the flatbed scanner approach works best for my workflow. Once I get the images scanned, I go to Lightroom and use Negative Lab Pro to convert the negatives into positive images. I really love this plugin by the way. If you're thinking of getting into home development and scanning, definitely check out Negative Lab Pro. So yeah, um, please let me know if you're interested in seeing how I do this technical stuff in more detail. Anyway, to keep this video short, here's part two of my photo walk with the Ashika Mat 124. Hope you enjoy, and I will see you all at the end of this video. So this is my favorite photo from this set. I just love how the guy was sitting in the middle of this V-shaped tree with his bicycle peeking a little bit from the side. I also really love how the golden hour light was filling the scene with a warm glow. I took two variations of this photo to hide the people in the background, but I think I preferred the more centered one. For this next photo, I noticed how the light was filtering through the trees, casting some nice shadows on the ground. I also included the tilted branch to parallel the angle of the river and shadows. Love it. I really like the colors I get from the Lomography Color Negative 400 film. It's vibrant and resolves a lot of detail, especially its 120 version. Plus, it's still relatively cheaper than most medium format film. So, I usually avoid shooting directly into the sun, but for this next photo, I just really like the silhouette of this guy against the sunlit river, and the break in the trees also framed the photo really well, in my opinion.
For the next two shots, I just wanted to capture the blues in the water and sky while using the nearby leaves and rocks as foreground framing elements. I'll be honest and admit that I had to recover these a bit in post because I think the images were a little overexposed or too washed out by the direct sunlight, but I think they're still nice. For this photo, I just took a quick snap of this couple walking through some sunlit trees. I really like how it turned out. The trees and shadows framed the image really well, but I guess the red flowers are a bit distracting. And these next two photos show that the dynamic range of this film isn't as good as Kodak Portra, obviously, but it's still pretty good in my opinion. I love this shot of this windmill here. I like how just a few tips of the blades were lit by the sunlight, and the low clouds behind it add some interest to the overall image as well. I hope that these photos convey how peaceful that evening really was. And here are some more photos with textured shadows from trees. So at this point during the photo walk, I just started looking for colors and lines from this interesting facade which is a mall. Also if you haven't noticed, the waist level viewfinder of TLR cameras are usually mirrored, so that's a bit trippy at first, but you get used to it. I think it also adds something to experience for sure. And can I just say how golden hour light is really the best light? I mean, come on. <laughs> so good. Here, I was just playing with my friend's reflection on the window and the stuff behind it. It looks like there's a playground inside the mall. If I'm right, these were from a nearby public water park that's now closed. And for the last photo of the set, I took a photo of this bridge that was closed for renovation at the time. I just really liked how the pillars were catching the last rays of the setting sun. And that's it! What do you folks think? Um, I hope that you liked some of the photos and enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, especially if you've reached this far. And while you're at it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. 
it really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate every single one of you who take your time to interact with me here and on my other social media. And if you notice, I actually just got monetized so there will be ads appearing in my videos from now on. I hope that's not too weird. I try to limit how they appear and balance it with my overall vision for this channel. But it really does feel nice to see my efforts go somewhere, no matter how slow and little it is at the moment. But yeah, again, thank you all, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Cheers! Also, Misha, say thank you that we got monetized. <laughs> you over there. Oh? No?